Every year, as October ends, the skies over Punjab fill with smoke. What looks like fog is actually stubble burning, the burning of leftover paddy straw after harvest. But why do farmers burn it? After harvesting rice, farmers have just 15 to 20 days to prepare their land for the next wheat crop. Removing stubble by hand or machine takes time and money. So, burning it seems the easiest and quickest way. Modern combine harvesters leave behind long stalks of straw. Earlier, cattle would eat it or it was used as fodder. But now, with fewer animals in modern farming, there's no practical use for this residue. The problem? This smoke doesn't stay in Punjab. Winds carry it across northern India, to Delhi, Haryana, and Uttar Pradesh. It mixes with industrial and vehicle emissions, forming a toxic cloud of smog. Every year, air quality drops to dangerous levels. Doctors warn of asthma, lung infections, and heart problems. Children and the elderly suffer the most. Stubble burning also destroys soil health, killing essential microbes and reducing fertility. In the long run, farmers lose the very foundation of their productivity. The government and scientists are trying to help. Machines like the Happy Cedar can sow weed directly without removing stubble. And the Pusa decomposer developed by ICAR helps convert straw into compost naturally. Some farmers are adopting these eco-friendly solutions. But the challenge remains, machines are costly, and awareness is still low. To tackle this, the government offers subsidies, awareness campaigns, and penalties for burning. Yet, real change will come only when all stakeholders, government, farmers, and citizens, work together. Stubble burning may save time, but it steals our air, our soil, and our future. The solution isn't in the fire, it's in awareness, technology, and care for our planet. Let's breathe cleaner. For more such videos, comment below the topic and do not forget to like share and join Success Netra.